Bleh. Face in the gutter. Been drinking again, have a chat. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to my class breakdown of Blade Symphony. So these are the characters that will be released. Vanguard, Pure, Ryoku, and Phalanx. Uh, we're gonna start out with Judgment. He is a uh, heavy fighter. I like this armor on him. And he does good with the longsword. It's nice and balanced and it blocks well. Uh, but he can also use the Xion to speed up his slow attacks. Or the Katana because he's relatively good at getting through people's attacks with like a heavy attack. So Judgment, uh, I like to keep in a heaviest stance just because look at the damage it does. But sometimes it does help to go fast. And uh, you'll want to find yourself changing the stances just to keep it mixed up. Like if they start going heavy stance, then you should obviously uh, go into a fast stance so you can kind of counter it in a way. But you got to be ready to flip away if you see power attacks like that. <laughs> Look at that, two hit KO. Jesus, he's a monster. Next character I'd like to talk about is Phalanx. He is such a lovely swordsman. He has a lot of thrusting and parrying attacks, and he does quite well with the rapiers. This is the epi tempo. I don't know why it's all screwed up on my computer. Oh well, he looks so classy. I'm gonna fight a random character, and it is going to be Judgment. So let's see if I can use speed to get around his power. Whoop. You chop and poke. Yes. <laughs> He's so tricksy. Oh! Here he comes. Blah! As you can see in the lower left hand corner, I am switching stances quite a bit uh, because of the surprise factor I was talking about, which is important for all the characters. Ryoku is the third character I'd like to talk about. He is uh, kind of a capoeira fighter. He uses kind of dance moves to really throw his opponents off balance. I'd say he's even more tricksy than um, Phalanx, who just kind of pokes the whole time. But he does have some, Phalanx has some good side swiping attacks. I like to use the katana or the Dorian Gion for Ryoku, just because. You'll see how fast it gets with the Dorian. Oh my god. Balance stance is good, and if you can charge attacks, he's got some really tricky tricky stuff like that. However, you've got to be ready uh, to turn your camera very quickly. <laughs> oh. Good night, Judgment. You have been judged. Charge up my spin attack. Whoa! And then the heavy attack is uh, pretty good, but it it's pretty predictable with Ryoku. If you see it, put it over his shoulder. The other heavy attack he has is pretty weak. That one, if you cut to the side. And a bit hard to land unless they're like frontally assaulting you. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not as good with him, just because everybody tends to use him, so I haven't really uh, practiced. I like to show some originality. Blech. But now I have to shut this guy down. Yay! The fourth character is Pure. She is extremely tricky. She uses a lot of flips and aerial attacks, and... She's a lady. She's the only lady, I believe. Oh no, Vanguard's a lady. My god. Okay. <laughs> so she's not the only lady anymore. That's wonderful. I like to use the Dorian for Pure as well, or the Katana, because her flippy attacks are pretty crazy. Let's do... We'll do the Xion with Pure, just because I'm not as good at, as, at parrying, so... Hopefully this will be a bit more of a fair fight. Look at how fast she moves. Craziness. Oop. I 
didn't mean to do that. Just immediately jump into his face. Yay, pure! Vanguard! Because you have to have a lady who's like judgment. And, she, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I like to use the longsword. And we'll begin the duel! I know it looks like there's a lot more swords, but they're all cosmetic changes to the swords that I've shown. So obviously Vanguard is a lot faster than Judgment, however, uh, she, she kind of uh, is hard to control just because her attacks are so leapy. She wants to charge forward in every one of them. So if your opponent steps off to the side, it's difficult to keep on them. We'll do one more with her. I didn't really change stances at all with her. <laughs> uh. Oh, look at the, the particle effects when she changes stances. Look at the particle effects everywhere. <laughs> but I don't. I think she's the only one that does it when she changes stances. But Chop! Yes! Quite a powerful lady, tell you what. Oh, maybe it was just the beginning of the fight. Oh, fart. I'm gonna get shut down. Because he's off to my side. Ryoku's a hard match. For the dragon lady. Bleh. Face in the gutter. Been drinking again, haven't ya? I know about you. Oh, come on. Let's do it. Yeah. Yep. I can dig the dragon lady. So friends, this has been a brief look at all the final classes for Blade Symphony. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope you'll purchase the game, because puny human games, boom, great job with uh, the sword fighting, third person sword fighting. It's there, I've never seen a game like it before, and it's really fun to master all the swords. It's pretty cool that the only changes that you can buy are purely cosmetic and it's super cool that it has Steam Workshop support so you can go and download wacky Batman masks and all the weird swords you want. So Blade Symphony friends this is officially the end. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll, I hope you'll go look at my other antics uh, in the playlist that I have listed on my channel. Until next time, friends, this has been Blade Symphony. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I'll see you next time. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.